makeup lovers today I have another rock and May product review for you I have some new things I've been using to show you guys and yes so let's get started okay so the first two three three products that I am going to be showing you were actually sent to me for free and I was asked to review try them out and review and I was like sure okay I'll try them out I checked out the website to make sure it wasn't anything funky so it's just a shampoo and then and a conditioner and a argan oil and I tried it for about a month and decided here it is this is called Pura Dior and it is a completely organic uh, shampoo. I have never tried anything organic on my hair. And this one has different oils in it. One that I cannot pronounce. <laughs> Lang Liang oil, that's what I'm gonna say, encourages healthy hair growth. Tea tree oil treats the scalp, and we all know that tea tree oil is actually really good for the scalp and skin. Biotin encourages healthy, uh, strong hair. Yes, biotin is very good for your hair and for your skin if you take it as a, a supplement, you know that it is good. Lavender oil creates a soothing scalp environment and argan oil builds strength and nourishes. So all these things we know are good. All the ingredients here are plant-based. This is a cruelty-free and it is color safe, which is really good. I did use it for a while. Um, Actually, I used it this morning. <laughs> Anyhow, it did not strip my hair all crazy like. My hair was not like all straw like or anything after using this. I actually enjoyed it. I don't, however, like the lavender scent. It has a very herbal lavender scent to it, which can be very calming. I mean, we all know lavender is calming, but I personally don't care for lavender it's not so strong that you're like but it's there and it doesn't really stay in your hair after you put the conditioner I actually think this is a great product I've used it for a month and I've only used like this much of it <laughs> so you get what 16 ounces and I think it runs for 20 to 30 something like that I don't remember looking at the website it comes in this bottle with a pump which is great right yeah, so it didn't strip my hair. It actually, what it did do is help with the oiliness. My hair would get oily so quickly, especially because I work out. Um, and I, my hair was just like always, it gets oily quickly. This helped to control the oil, which was, I was pleasantly surprised because I'm like, oh, yay. My hair, I noticed the difference if my head, my hair became less, less oily. So I like the shampoo except for the scent because it's kind of herbal lavender and I personally like fruity, sweet smelling stuff. So yeah. The next one is the conditioner and I absolutely love the conditioner. This conditioner has lavender and vanilla extracts and you can smell the vanilla in it. It's 99% plant based ingredients, has argan oil and let me see the back okay it has lavender oil vanilla extract argan oil but it also has coconut protein in it which is really good for your hair uh, this leaves my hair silky and soft and i noticed even after like i let it air dry usually when i let my hair air, air dry with other shampoos and other conditioners that i've used my hair is like it gets all frizzy and this conditioner actually helped it to not be so frizzy it was actually more of a wave type of finish <laughs> and it felt like there was more weight in my hair and not as you know like yeah frizzy and <laughs> I don't know how to explain it's it, it left my hair smoother and not as frizzy when I let it air dry my hair is kind of wavy in a way it's not straight it's not curly it's wavy but it does tend to dry frizzy other times and I love this. It smells kind of like vanilla and kind of like coconut and it's a very light scent. It's not overbearing. It's 
just a really creamy conditioner and I think it's great. The last thing that they sent me is this Argan Oil. It comes in this little bottle and I used a little bit for my hair which my hair just sucks it right in. <laughs> But I mainly use this as a moisturizer around my eyes and actually even on my lips. I put it on at night and it leaves my lips nice and smooth. If I have any like chapness, chapness, is that a word? Yeah. <laughs> if my lips are dry or chapped, this takes care of it. Just don't eat it, of course. Put it on and leave it on there and your lips will be nice and soft in the morning. So I love the oil. I mean, you just... It comes with the little dropper and this little brown bottle, which I have nothing really bad to say about this product. It was free and it doesn't matter. Like if it, it sucked, I would tell you. If it wasn't good, I would say, hey, this stuff, come on guys, do something right. But no, this is actually a really good product, except for the smell of the shampoo that I don't really care for. Everything else, it's good. Pura Dior rocks. Next, Wet n Wild's Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche. I love using this palette. I like that this is not a super red tone. It's kind of very neutral and I really like this. The highlighter is not shimmery. It's just like a white, a light setting powder. So I like to use the white around here. I put it on the little brush and on the bridge of the nose and the chin and the forehead. So that's where I like to use the lighter shade. The darker shade you can contour, you know, your nose, cheekbones, under the chin, under here, up here. This is, I love this. This cost me like, what, five dollars? And you get this huge palette and then the back it has instructions of where you can use the, um, the shade so you're not like guessing. <laughs> I love this contour palette and I will keep using it. It is blendable, it is soft, it's great. It, the pigment is great, it's not too much, not too light. So this rocks. Okay, next. Another one from Wet n Wild, the All Natural palette. I was curious about it. This one is Nude Awakening. This costs I want to say four dollars, but I don't remember. I've had it for a little while because I've been testing it out. And I love this palette, mainly as a daily thing. I'm using some of the colors today. Well, really the black. The black and the brown. Um, I'm using the brown and the black and this one up here. This is a great palette if you want to use something for every day. It has really good pigmentation for the price. Like... Look at that. That is awesome. I mean, some of the shimmery ones feel a little rough, but after you use them for a little bit, they get soft and they don't have too much shimmer, but it's good enough. I love this palette. The black is well pigmented, which is always, you know, a gripe of mine if they don't pigment the black really well. I'm like, ugh. And it's matte, which is even better. It has several matte shades and several shimmery shades and I love that because I don't like when palettes have too much shimmer. Um, I prefer matte uh, just to play with. I feel like you can do a lot more than just having all shimmer. So you do get some shimmer and you get some matte to balance it out. And this is really great because there's so much you can do with all these colors. It's definitely worth getting to have in your purse or whatever. It's, I mean the packaging isn't great but what matters to me really more than packaging is the product so yay this rocks this new mascara from Revlon I don't know if you guys noticed that Revlon has changed their mascaras they're coming out with new ones and I am glad that they kept I'm more about the brush than the formula because most form formulas I find that are kind of the same but it depends on the brush you use how the mascara applies. At least that's been my own observation in using lots of different mascaras. I personally love L'Oreal's Voluminous Mascara and I think maybe it's the brush. <laughs> but I love that. I tend to gravitate towards, let me show you, this kind of brush. 
I find this brush gives you volume, thickness without the clumps. It is great. So I love this. I'm so glad I was scared because I really like their lash potion. One, mainly because of the brush that it has and it applies the mascara the way I like. It coats all of them, makes them nice and long and beautiful. So this one is volume and length. It's the blue cap and I enjoy this very much. It rocks. I am very happy with this. So yay Revlon, you did not change your brush. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I personally don't care for lip glosses, mainly because they're usually really sticky and they feel really strange on your lips. Like you feel like you're like this the whole time. And I don't like that feeling. But I decided to try this lip gloss from CoverGirl. It wasn't too expensive, so I was like, I'll try it and see. I'll give lip gloss a chance. <laughs> the thing that caught my eye too is how beautiful, it's like a dual, dual chrome type of color. This color is called Candylicious. And the lip glosses are called Colorlicious. So it's a 620 Candylicious. And I absolutely love it. It is not sticky. And it does not feel strange. It has a sweet scent to it, which I enjoy. I don't like when they smell like glue or something. They smell weird sometimes. And it's just a really pretty, I'm wearing it today, over um, a natural tone lip liner. So I really, really like this. I think it rocks. It is a great uh, lip gloss to wear, even if you don't like lip gloss like me. <laughs> but I feel like with the weather change, spring and summer, it's more of a lip gloss type of season as opposed to matte lipstick during the fall and winter. I don't know, that's just me, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Okay, last thing I have here for you today is from my Ipsy bag. And this is the uh, highlighter that came in my Ipsy bag. It's called That Glow Though from Trust Fund. And I really like this. It comes in a stick. It works really well. It's not, it doesn't separate your makeup or anything like that. It's very subtle too. It's not super, super shimmery. Just gives you like a subtle little, I don't know, subtle glow that I like. Yeah. So this rocks. All right, guys, I don't have any mez for you today. I haven't used anything that I don't, uh, that I didn't like. I didn't purchase anything that I was like, oh, I don't like it. So everything rocks this time around. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already part of the makeup artist, me makeup lovers. Yeah. Until next time, rock on. <laughs>